Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Grid Road, the game where you get to fix traffic problems and have a little car follow your mouse the whole time, which is very fun to play with. Now the dev has done a few updates, so we have previous levels to go explore. Let's have a look at cross. So we got a we got a crossroad, but we've got two cars coming in, but only one one car coming out. So let's start with the left. So we've got an orange car there, so that's gonna want to go all the way straight over to the orange flag. Sorted. There's also an orange down here, so you want to come up and then go right. And one from the top, so you want to go down and like that. So we put a little arrow on there. I should probably put an arrow down there. Then that is orange cars sorted. We have green cars, so we'll go up that way. We'll put a straight ahead arrow and a left turn arrow so that the orange cars can go straight, the green ones can go left. Uh, then green cars from down here, they just go straight, so that should be fine. Fine. And then green cars from this side, we do that. And then we do a right arrow there-ish. I can see this middle bit is going to be absolute carnage. But that is the name of the game. So to be expected, I guess. Let's go for yellow cars next. So you want to go straight along there. You want to end up down the bottom. There's the flag. So we want to say go go right. We want to put that bit of road in. Yellow cars from here. We need to add a straight ahead to this so we say straight ahead and keep the left hand turn from previous over this side that way we're going to need a straight for the purple and we'll do a left and then to put the final bit of road in it should be fairly simple in that we just do this okay so now <laughs> now if we press play we should see as the cars start to come because i put no traffic lights in it's just gonna be oh my goodness that looked painful. So yeah, that's pretty clogged up. The level has failed. We didn't beat the dev. We did not beat Average Andy either. But that's what this game is all about. Getting your traffic lights in. So if we now want to add traffic lights, we can just click on these again. So let's start with... We need to come up with phasing where everything works. So we do need traffic lights on all of these. And so generally, when you look at traffic lights, I think if we start with this one, we'll make this all green for now. And we'll make the one next to it all red. And basically these are like second intervals so for the first second this will be red then it will still be red for the second second etc if i were to make one green it just means it goes green for that so we've got straight ahead which will go to the orange we've got the left hand turn there so we can't cut across right so that one's got to be red as well this one down here in the opposite corner this can be green so that's fine we'll make down here red because we don't want to clash and then up here red basically all the others red so what i want to see to start with just these two arms staying green so you can see all the other ones are red but we should get movement going down like that so that's good that works however obviously all the other arms are red so they're going to be blocked and the level fails because they don't get to their destination so we just need to work out how many different phases there's going to be uh, so i reckon to start Start. shall we just have this we'll have it stay on for two seconds so we do that sort of thing so same with this one down here make it stay on for two seconds then it goes red again so what do we want our next phase to be we can probably do the the lane next to it so this will be to go right so those two need to be red we can make those two green so then they're going at different times so that works fine and then we just swap to do like the, the same thing on the on the north and south arms right so that means there's four phases which sort of means i don't want it to be every two seconds i probably want these to be every three seconds because that divides by four nicely so basically this arm on for three then off for the rest the arm next to it, off for three, then on for three, then off for the rest. These ones do exactly the same thing. And then these ones, we've just got like this half of the circle to work with. So we want the left and straight aheads to go first. So we just do that sort of thing. And then we want the right hand turns to be the final quarter. So we'll press start. So we should see those, those corners are green. Then we should have the middle ones go green. There you go. Oh no. Oh, they clash into each other in the middle. Ah, I didn't realize that. <laughs> oh no. Okay, let's... Let's stop. Let's stop then. Yeah, I guess because they got to go like this person driving along here. They've got to go all the way to the end before they can turn. Right. OK. OK. I know what I got to do then. We've just got to do each arm goes green. So that can be the first three. We'll make this one the first three. And then I guess we'll just work around like clockwise. So you can be the next three. You can be the next three like that. This arm can be the bottom left quarter. And this arm can be the top left quarter. 
Cool. All right, so now this arm is completely green. Then it should go top arm completely green, then right arm completely green, then bottom arm completely green. And I think, yeah, if you look, they can all make the maneuvers they need to. Hopefully no one will jump the lights. The trouble with this is there's a long wait for like the other arms. And I think that's, yeah, that's going to fail it. That's basically because they've got to wait so long before they can move. So I can either try making all of these shorter. So rather than being on for three, they're on for like, like one second or two second and they come back on later. Or since we have space and I do have budget, I got 34 grand remaining. I could add like a little a little arm like that. Let's see if that works. So what I'm hoping are the green cars from this arm. They should come down here. Okay, that green car did not go down there. Fair enough. I think I probably need to swap this just to be a straight ahead. I don't want to give the greens the choice. Greens have to go down the slip road. So now this arrow doesn't have a left hand turn. This green should go. Wait, why have you stopped there? Why have you stopped there? All right, okay, there we go. I've got it. I've got it to work. So now you can see this arm at least until we got three cars parked there. We had cars moving all the time, which means I can probably reduce this one. So if I reduce that to just one second and this one next to it can be on for two seconds. All right, so we'll see what happens. Basically, rather than all the lights being on for three seconds, they're just on for two seconds. But I've got this turning lane, which I'll probably add to every corner. You can see it does cause a slight issue, but I do think it's better. So yeah, let's add let's add all of this in. Do I have the cash to do all of it? Almost. I think it's more important to have the like the diverge lane longer than the merge one, because then they've got like more space to come off. All right, I've just got to swap all of these straight ahead and left arrows with just straight ahead ones. Okay, so now we've got those dedicated left hand turns on every single arm now. Let's hope this goes a bit better. I've still got like two seconds at the end where every light is red. I think this yellow lane of traffic, this is like, yeah, that's the big one that's failing us. So remember, this is two seconds. This is the three and four seconds. This is the five and six seconds. The bottom one, seven and eight seconds. So I've still got three seconds no four seconds where everything's red so i think this right hand turn you can go on for a second then we just we literally just loop around so that one can go on for a second that one on for a second and then that one on for a second so we should see these two go green then those two goes green then the bottom right two go green these are all for two seconds remember bottom two go green and then we should have just the right hand turns going green just for a second each like that yeah that's I was going to say that was working well, but game had other ideas. What if for those last seconds, we also do like the straight aheads as well? So basically all these straight aheads ones, they come on for a second at the end. Yeah, so basically as you're watching this, they're all on for two seconds and then they'll all be on for one second. Then it repeats again. All on for two seconds, all on for one second. Let's see how we get on. We've got the, we got the warning signs. Although, yeah, the being on for a second does seem to be working. There's warning signs up the top. Two seconds is quite a long time to wait. Warning signs on the right. We're only halfway through the time. We failed already. Okay, what if then, rather than being on for two seconds, what if we're just on for one second? So we have like a three phase loop, sort of like that shape. So we got this pattern for this. The next one will be that shape because we go from that shape to that shape. We just move to like every two seconds. So this one will be every three seconds. And then the bottom one starts on four. So it will be something like that. Okay, so now each light should be on for one second. And this just moves around in a clockwise fashion. Hopefully this will keep things moving. And then with our dedicated left hand turns, they should help maybe, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> There's like warning signs already. We're not even, we're about a third of the way through the time. Okay, this, this is not going to work. Although, although, hold your horses. Hold your horses. We're about to beat Average Andy. Oh, okay, we may have done this. We may have done this. 6,007 up to 7,000. We're not going to beat the dev. Oh, we were close though. We're already 100 behind the dev. Oh, I can't believe that worked. I'm so, I'm so impressed with myself. Right, I do wonder what the small tweaks I could have done would have been to beat the dev, but I'm also just intrigued to see what the dev has done. So let's have a look. Ah, this is the devs layout. So they made they made their dedicated lanes a lot shorter. I would have thought being longer would be better because you can like merge like higher up, further away. We'll have a look and see what their traffic lights do. So are they all on for one second? I think they actually are. Yeah, so bottom right, top, left, 
Yeah, there is basically what I did, but going in a different order. I wonder if going anti-clockwise rather than clockwise helps for whatever reason. Potentially. I'm glad I I'm glad I was like very close though. I was definitely on the right path. Right. Well, anyway, we're now driving to the next level where we're going to have a cheeky Nando's. Right. Okay. What is going on here? There's a lot going on. I think first off, let's just look. We got three lanes down the bottom. That's quite a lot of traffic. Uh, most of them need to get straight up though. So that orange can go straight up as can the blue next to it. So that's fine. There's red in this one, which also can go straight up. But then look, there's also yellow and green cars in here. Now, yellows have to end up over there and greens have to end up in the top right. How much money have I got remaining? I got 62 grand remaining. Now, I feel like there's two ways of doing this. I could just do like normal junctions or I could think about what I would do in real life. And basically, this would be making a roundabout but not just any old roundabout, a hamburger roundabout. <laughs> so if you just forget about that straight three road, we want to put our roundabout in first. So let's just say, let's just say it's that big. Yes, I realize it's not a roundabout, it's a square about, but shut up. That's a roundabout if ever I've seen one. So we then want to grab you and we want to say, go straight ahead or left. So that will bring traffic onto here. And then same here, straight ahead or left. If you're, if you're yellow, you turn left. If you're not, you carry on going straight. These guys come on and only go left. That's good. Here we got straight and lefts because we're going to have roads coming off like that. Here, straight ahead and left. And here, just left as you come on. All right. So in order to make this a roundabout, you would usually... And I just realized I've got to make this, I've got to make this smaller because I couldn't fit in an extra, an extra thing there. Because I got to tell those people to go left, then go right. All right, then orange, why can't you get to your flag? Orange is up there. So you go left, then you go right, then straight, then right, then left. Why can't you get to your thing, orange? Okay, I needed that arrow in there. Okay, sorted. So if we press play, this is a normal roundabout square about if you want to get technical. Uh, you can see how it works. You basically, you come onto the circular tree, you drive around it, and then you come off wherever you, well, wherever you want to get off. Now, unusually, there doesn't seem to be any traffic coming from the other arms. Is that right? I'm not sure that's right. <laughs> We've only got traffic coming from the top left. Well, interestingly, the, the level isn't finishing despite this filling up. The score just keeps on going. However, basically, you can, you can probably work out there's going to be, there's Three lanes of traffic coming from down here. One lane there, one lane there. That's a lot of traffic just to come around a single lane on the circular tree. Particularly when these ones down here, they just want to go straight up. They don't really want to go around the roundabout. So ignoring this little bug, what we would do in real life is we'd make a hamburger. So if you think of this, if you tilt your head, if you put straight three roads through a roundabout, can you see we've now made a hamburger? That looks tasty. So if we press play, oh look, the other arms have woken up now. The other arms have woken up. Ask good. So you can see how this is working or not working in this case because in order to have a straight through a roundabout, you definitely need traffic lights. So otherwise people, they just try and push through. Like he's definitely a BMW driver pushing straight through that. Yeah, I will say for now though, it is actually moving. My score's doing quite well. I don't see any warning signs. I might actually beat the dev. I've beaten the dev. Oh man, who needs traffic lights? Honestly, <laughs> this is insane. Decent, 12,200. <laughs> I I wasn't expecting that. That was a very cheeky Nando's level, who ironically do sell chicken burgers. Anyway, let's have a look at the devs layout. Oh, they did a hamburger roundabout as well. It was slightly smaller and they actually put traffic lights in. Okay, so it looks like the straight heads go green and then the roundabout goes green and they just alternate on like every second. So we'll see how it works compared to mine. I mean, I can see why mine was better to be honest. Because although none of the arms are shouting, they weren't shouting at me. I think they're like so, they're so long. The traffic never builds up quick enough. And because everyone's always moving at some point. Yeah, you can't beat a cheeky Nando's. Right, let's head down to the last new level, Tangle. So I imagine this is going to be a bit spaghetti junction-ish. So right, oh my goodness. Okay, this is quite confusing. So are there any straight throughs I can do? Yes, this purple one can go straight up. You've got to get up there. That is you sorted. Red car, you can come along there and then down to that way. So we just put a left hand arrow in. Do I want to try a roundabout on this? Or well, I feel like the fact it's called Tangle is like a clue. But yeah, I'll just try give way to start with and then we'll come back and put traffic lights in if we need. So let's do this green. So you go straight across that road up to there and then turn 
left like that. Blue, you go that way. Straight across there. Turn down that way. Okay, this is this is getting confusing already. Yellow, where do I want you to go? You can't go straight through because we need that arrow there. So it might be worth merging you onto this road. So say you go down there. And then perhaps this one I add a right-hand turn. And then here I can add a left-hand turn and then do that. Okay, this looks an absolute mess. But uh, let's see how it handles traffic with no traffic lights as well. It's just... <laughs> It's just give way and card. Look at this. Look at this red car trying to cut across. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I definitely need traffic lights for these. Look, the blues have completely blocked them up. So straight ahead. Traffic light, traffic light, traffic light, traffic light. And then I'll also put traffic light there and there. So I think on and then off is sort of what you want to do. So we got second on, second off, second on, second off like that. And do the same for the one next to it. And then the car's cutting across. They start off and then go on. So it looks like that. And then I just want to keep an eye on cars coming up. How long does it take for them to get from here? So this green car, okay, it's sort of like, I think it's half a second before they get up there. So I'll probably keep these on the same. It's a shame I can't do like a half second because it'd be nice to keep them like sort of traveling all the way through so they don't stop at all. But yeah, basically the straight throughs go green. Then the, the crossroads also go green like on the opposite. So we'll see what happens. Down here, a little bit messy. Since we can only fit one car, we may want to, yeah, we're going to have to change that. So I think what I'm going to do, I'll keep this one green for two and then off for two and then this one opposite. So these down here are sort of on a separate phase to the middle stuff. But I just want to share like what traffic comes through. Oh, no, it's no good. They keep blocking up the street ahead. OK, OK, I got another idea then for the yellows. I'm going to give them their own separate road All right? so that hopefully things should be a bit clearer for all the traffic so they stop then they go across oh boy you just jumped a red light what are you doing okay this level this level is a tangle not gonna lie ah, ah, he said it he said it i'm gonna add traffic lights up to this yellow arm i then added the yellows back to this single crossing i don't think the double was helping in the slightest so let's try this so if you watch yellows now they have to stop up here which hopefully means this road won't get too clogged because that the blues come then the yellows go then down here, okay, this is working. This is actually working. Reds are getting very clogged, though. I need to keep an eye on those. But they are moving, though. Yeah, we need to get these reds moving a bit more often. The yellow is blocking this a little bit. It is working just, I think. What are we on? We got a third of our time remaining. We're on, oh, nearly 10,000 points. We might be the dev. Assuming it doesn't fail... We may beat the dev. We've definitely beaten Average Andy. I'm glad I'm better than Average. Because Average Andy is an architect. All right, what did we do? Oh, no. I was just shy of the dev score. 13,500. Right, is there anything else I can do to make this better? I feel like making this red one go a little bit more often might be better. What if I add, like, every other? This could cause carnage because I haven't adjusted, like, this straight down. I've just made the reds go, like, more often. So there's going to be points where, yeah, look... The top one clashes. They're both green. Yeah, this is backing up up to there. I mean, it might be fine. I just feel like the reds kept getting blocked up last time. I mean, now the yellow is screaming at me. So, oh, you knobs, what are you doing? They proper like wedge down there. Right, we have clogged up. We have completely clogged up. No one can move. Oh dear. Right, what if I just do like random timings on this one? This is engineering, by the way. I'm not just like, I'm not just throwing stuff out the wall and see what sticks. This <laughs> Okay, I am. I am slightly. All right, how's the score looking? 3,007. Yes. Yes, we beat the dev by 100 points. Back of the net. Back of the net. All right, well, let's delete this and let's see what the dev did. Oh, that's a very, very similar layout. What did they do different? To oh, look, the yellow doesn't come up there. How does their yellow? Oh, the yellow goes up the main road. Okay, so I think similar sort of traffic lights, but check this yellow car. They go up that way. They don't have their own road over here. I assume, yeah, they just sneak in behind these two. So as the green and purples go up, you can see as, as this turns to red, there's a little bit of room for the yellow to go behind. Ah, oh, nice. Still, I beat the dev on all of these levels, except for cross. Cross was a hard level. I mean, it says I didn't do giga, but I did do giga last time. I guess it just didn't save for some reason. But yeah, as more levels come out, I'll definitely be progressing this. The devs told me this is actually coming to Steam now. Now, thanks to all of you guys supporting this dev. It is made by a single person, so we got to support those solo devs so we get interesting games like this one. Anyway, for now, I'll say peace, love.
love and carnados bye guys